Welcome back to another Core 19 M19 Core, core Set M19 draft. We're going off the top MTG. We're going to be drafting here. And we don't need mango juice, but we got some peach. Peach dilute. It's, it's pretty good. Um, cards in the pack for suggestions. Maybe Goblin Trash Master is pretty good if you get a bunch of goblins. Like Bogger Brute. And there's the, you know, Goblin Instigator becomes a lot better. Also, destroying an artifact can be good. Um, he's not. Goblin, but he's pretty good. Angel Dawn's very good. Essence Scatter, very good. Bogger Brute, very good. And the rest of the cards are kind of medium. Oh, Dwindle's very good as well. So. Interesting pick here. My favorite card's probably Essence Scatter. Then maybe Angel of Dawn. But Goblin Trash Master with a load of goblins seems very powerful. So, that could be the pick. But I could also see it being Essence Scatter and Angel of the Dawn. Maybe Angel of the Dawn is just better. Because it goes in multiple... Uh, I'm not sure. Let's see if we get punished. Okay, so... Get past... A re good white card. And a really good gold card. And there's also a Thorn Lieutenant. Which is definitely a green signal. I feel like... So they took an uncommon. I'm trying to think of what that uncommon could be. Like murder, maybe? Thorn Lieutenant's pretty good, though. It's definitely off color first, but it is a signal. We got past the Druid of the Cal as well. There's an Essence Scatter, so we could have two Essence Scatters, which would have been good. Um, looking at Gallon Cavalry, is probably weaker than Regal Bloodlord. Regal Bloodlord could be splashed. Although Thorn Lieutenant, that's a pretty big signal that green is open. I mean, it's only one pick, but they didn't take the rare. They, they took, like, a black card, Murder, or I'm trying to think of an uncommon that you would take over Torn Lieutenant. Hmm. I guess we'll stay on color, because this is still a signal. And, uh, yeah. Do that for now. Move over. Oh, those are, those are tiny. Why are they tiny? There we go. And it won't move over. Well, it won't move over. Um, another decent green card. Fixing card, which you could pick up for Regal Bloodlord. But uh, there's a couple white cards here. Like Shield Mare goes well with Regal Bloodlord as well. Lord as well. Um, the Dragon's decent. I think I'll take the Shield Mare. It's pretty good against like uh, abilities to target. Okay, now the Green's coming. The Colossal Majesty, Gaspark Twins, and no second Rejuvenator. Um, so. Magistrate Scepter, it's a lot of mana to take an extra turn. I'm not a huge fan of it. Hmm. There's a Dwindle as well. Looks like Red's being cut a bit. Goblin Motivator as well. Gaspark Twins, pretty powerful. I guess I'll. Hmm. Green's being passed. Dwindle as well. I feel like I'd rather be um, Blue White Flyers. Gift of Paradise. Man, the green was definitely flowing. Seder Enchanter. Could be Green White Auras. But there's a second Dwindle here, so it's not like we don't have to just move into green. So blue is pretty open, maybe blue green. Also meandering river, but pretty happy with this. Okay, there's a there's a gun cavalry, so the white's definitely flowing as well. I do want this divination, but I do want this gun cavalry or gallant. Let's make these a bit smaller. So there's a sideboard card, a big thing. Two medium things, uh, salvage, salvager of secrets. I think this has probably got the highest upside. I don't know we don't have any instant sorceries yet, but you know, we can get them later on. Deck usually plays a couple at least. I guess I'll take the inspired charge here and get it back with salvager, and you know, hopefully, don't need to. Third dwindle. Um, glad we took the dwindle. That's weird. Like, so it kind of seems to be like red, black were cut, but the other three colors are just open. Um, but pretty happy with the deck so far. Obviously, not starting this. What's the curve look like? Curve's not super good. 
but it's quite defensive. Three removal spells, shield mirror to gain its life. Gallon Cavalry really kind of stabilize. Angel of the Lamb, swing for the win. Inspired charge and salvager. Uh, Gabe, G oh, it's just, well, maybe it's Jess guy, Jess guy P. I'll take him as a spate. Wandering Asian. Oh, wonder. I actually, I think I played drafted this guy before. Wandering Asian is a pretty good name. Uh, Maxell, pretty good name. Uh, there's a big O in there. Come on, get rid of it. Oh my God. Birdsmith. I kind of like Birdsmith. No, I don't really like birds. But Birdsmith, he's like a creator of birds. So I guess we want just some flyers. And uh, got, got got a lot of removal, so we're going to probably be focused on creatures. And uh, maybe draw spells as well. So sideboard Invoke the Divine or, or the Swift Claw. I think I'll take the Invoke the Divine. Although the Swift Claw goes with the Inspired Charge and the Angel of Dom. But it is a, you know, an X one and there's a lot of, oh, I'll take a cancel. There's a lot of, how do I say this? Oh yeah, there's just a lot of like one ones flowing around, the you know, Omen Speaker. Okay, we've got the Swift Claw anyway. Put it in there for now. Probably start the cancel. A lot of three drops though. Although that's better than a lot of four drops. Okay, so well, there is heroic reinforcements, but we, we don't have a splash yet. Um, but there is Jin Wishes, which is just really good. So we're going to be taking the Jin here. Uh, hopefully, wield of Hexus Course, or probably not though. But we could wheel, you know, this card, this card, this, this, even this. So we're taking the Jin, Jin of the Wishes, just really powerful, rare. Now there's a Pegasus Courser. Uh, I know blue white is meant to be like artifacts because there's the uncommon that has artifact synergy. I just never seem to get there with the the artifacts. Uh, I do like me a sift, so I think I'll take the sift. Pretty good card advantage. Yeah, I like I like that. Oh my god! I'm gonna take the Leonin War Leader. Wow, that is. Oh my god! So obviously, what's that? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. 13 cards, so obviously the two people to my left aren't in white, which is, you know, delicious for me because this is a bomb rare. So I'm going to slam this. It goes in any white deck. It's just so good. If you don't answer, it's going to run away with the game. Really, really good. So we've got, uh, you know, we can find it when anticipate as well, so you can find our two bomb rares. Uh, we can also salvage our secrets back, a cancel, a sift, and anticipate. Oh, this deck's looking really good. Um, but I did draft blue white at uh, nationals and didn't do well with it. But this seems better. I mean, it hadn't, I didn't have any rares in my deck, so. Make that a little bit bigger. Ooh, murder. Where's the double black splash? Um. Novice Knight, don't have any ores or equipment yet. There's a Wall of Mist and a Scholar of Stars. Have a bunch of fours already, don't have any artifacts, so I'm not going to take the Scholar. I think I'm going to take Forsaken Sanctuary because of the Regal Blood Lord. Uh, we do have one life. We have, we have two life gain ways, so I think I'm going to take that. I can always pick up a Mighty Leap or a, a Novice Light later or a Wall of Mist. Oh, there's a good one. Avi Aviation Pioneer. There's also Revitalize, which works well with the uh, Regal Blood Lord, but. I do like Aviation Pioneer, so I'm going to take that. And there's a Gallon Cavalry. Curve's looking a bit high, but Gallon Cavalry's pretty great. Pretty great with Angel of the Dawn as well, and Inspire Charge, so I'm going to take that. Um, no cards in our... Co oh, there's, there's Divination, so... Yeah, I'll take a Divination, I guess. Now there's a Meandering River. Obviously, there's a Novice Knight and a Trusty Pack Beast. No Artifacts. There's a Mind Leap, which is good with Le Leon and War Leader. But Meandering River fixes our mana, so I'm going to take that for now. A lot of playables, so I don't need to worry about playables. There's a Submerged Boneyard for even more mana fixing, or I could take a Rustwing Falcon or a Lockstone Linebreaker. I think I'm going to take the mana fixing. And I'll take a Dwarven Priest, probably won't start it. Can maybe play it as a defensive card. Wow, Blacks needs to be open on my left. Well, that's a late Nightmare's Thirst. And if Red Black was open, Red Priest Simlings. Uh, Skeleton's really good in red black. Uh, defensive card that I can't use or combat trick. I think combat trick. 
We can pick up two drops and one drops in uh, pack three. Pretty stacked deck. Like probably want to play all these cards. Maybe not divination and sift. Maybe I'll move sift to the sideboard because just for curve considerations. Uh, ooh, revitalize. Do want to pick up that. So regal blood War is probably going to be played. Um, with two ways to gain life in the main deck, or three ways to gain life, and like potentially more. Okay. The Inspired Charge, I'm not sure if I want to play that. The deck's not super aggressive, like with all these Dwindles and Cancels and Divinations. Obviously it's good with Aviation Pioneer and Gallant Cavalry, but that's about it. I think I might want to pick up more defensive cards. So, I'm just going to leave her, where did that go? Lands in here. Not a great pack. It's Invoke, Novice Knight, Pegasus Corsair, Snapping Drake. I think I'd take the Corsair. It's great with Leon and War Leader, and it's just pretty good in general. Let's just make sure I'm not missing anything. Obviously, get the Snapping Drake, but the curve's a little high. Or Second Divination, but I'm going to take the Flyer. Can be pretty happy about it. Um, a lot of the stuff has flying already. Wow. Like, I have eight of these in my, um, in my draft, or like, in my collection because I keep getting in draft obviously nobody likes it maybe I'm just wrong for picking it up there are times when I can't cast it so there's an Avon Wind Mage or Militia Bugler or Bugler <laughs> uh, Pegasus Corsair so I can it can hit a lot of things it can even hit Regal Bloodlord yeah it's probably the uh, the Militia Bugler so now there's Leonin Vanguard Talarian Scholar Open the Graves is pretty good, but it's double black, and we only have two splash lands, so don't think I'll be playing that. That's another five drop. I'll take the Vanguard. It's pretty. It's a good combo with Regal, uh, Regal Bloodlord, and it's an early defensive play. Wow. Uh, wow. So again, White's definitely open. Jenny's last stand. That token is pretty powerful. Jenny's Pride Mate's also really powerful. Goes well with this, this. Um, this and this and this so and we don't have any two drops but this is a rare and it's really powerful but we're not going to be playing a bunch of planes in our deck but I guess if we have it out we're going to have a planes but like these two aren't planes oh I guess we do have a bunch of planes like double white cards I kind of want to take, take this instead but it's probably wrong Johnny's last sounds a lot more powerful but we don't have any early plays Fine, I'll take the rare, god damn it. Okay, so Invoke the Divine locks on Linebreaker, but I'm going to take a second one of these. That's another early play. Um, interesting pick here. Uh, Uncomfortable Chill is great against the Boros Aggro decks, but I, I, I kind of like Disperse, and it's a good sideboard card against Auras, so I'm going to take that. So we do have 23 cards here. Looks like we're going to get again, enough playables for sure. There's the Uncomfortable Chill I want anyway for the sideboard, so... I'll take that. Cancel for the board. Don't know if I'll play two in the main deck. But if they have a specific bomb rare, I can't deal with. I already have two divination. Oh no, sorry, that's a dwindle. So novice knight for the board or divination. I'll probably... I already have sift for the board, so I'll take a novice knight. I'll take this if they don't have any removal. I'll take Talarian scholar if they are kind of aggro. I can board out a four drop maybe or... A salvager. Deck's looking pretty good. I mean, obviously, these two would have been amazing with a Johnny's Pride Mate, but I did take the rare. That's like a pretty good default to take the rare. Uh, yeah, I guess you can never never have too much fixing. So, well, maybe too, that is too much. Like a line breaker. And Root Snare. So definitely in the right colors. I mean, look, look at all these sideboard cards we have. It's just pretty great. Um, this should be interesting to see what the creature's curve looks like. So I'll group these separately. Yeah, no two drops. That's a bit unfortunate. We do have Disperse to stop something. Revitalize to gain three life. 
And like the three drops are pretty powerful. Yeah, I'm glad I could sift. A lot of fours. Bugler. I mean, I really did want the, like a Johnny's Pride Bank would look good there and then we have one last four drop. So that's debatable whether that was the right pick. But I'm pretty happy with this. I'll add these. And that's one black source. That's three black sources, so we don't have a, we're gonna have no swamps in this deck. And we'll put it up to whoops. Seven planes. And I'll combine those so you can see. That is the deck. Let's just come around. Where's my where's my lands at? There's the lands. And thanks for watching. I hope you guys stick around for the draft. I mean the games. <laughs>